What's up guys? Ash here. And now we are back with Pocket Mirror. And we need to go find um what's her face? Flata. Alright. Can't interact with any of that stuff, so let's go ahead and go out. Oh my gosh, fly, go away. Stop! Right in my face! Oh my gosh, hold on. I would have got this electric fly swatter and I'm not afraid to use it. it. Keeps landing like right on my forehead. I don't know what its problem is, but it's getting really, really annoying. Okay. No one in the library. No one in here. Wait, I didn't check that room um, up here. I forgot to go over there. There's a book. Dear Diary, today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. The, that way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because father's away. Dear diary, I wish we didn't live away from town. I never have any girls to play with and brother spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I'll call her Claire, just like my friend. Dear diary, today my tutor fell ill in class. He had what my brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden. But it started raining so I had to go inside. It was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room because she isn't there anymore. I don't like Mother. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Egliette, and we've been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I'll never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egliette doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious Father is a boy because he is going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Agliette's really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me pretty stories too. My favorite story is about that time when Agliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Agliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow too. I can't wait. I love Agliette. Well, it's Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid. I hated it. My favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much too. When my eyes turn pink, I'll play dress up with Egliette and we will only wear pink dresses. But I'll have to cut my hair because it's too long and I like it shorter. All right then. Whose diary is this? Obviously Fleda's, are you stupid? Can I go up here yet? Okay, guess not. Alright, so we checked this floor. And anyone in here? Nope. Here? Nope again. Hmm. Alright, let's see real fast. Whoops. 
Oh, there she is. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground, you stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not that bad. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I'll give you a head start then, miss. I'll count to 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that all right? Really? Yes, really. I'll be going now. Do your best, all right? <laughs> all right. All right, I don't know where we're gonna hide. Can't go there. That pumpkin's blocking the way. Okay. Mm. No. What's that sound? It's like dripping. Oh, what? What the heck? What's going on? That's definitely creepy. Wait, it's still pink red? What the heck? What the actual heck? I don't know. Oh, I need to find a place to hide. Crap. Hmm. Well, to mother. Like, maybe is this her mother's room? Acquired Liebesbrief. Love letter. For Elise Liebe. For Elise Love. Name's gotcha. I can't read that. Oh, okay. I'm writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey. But please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. Hmm. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Uh, oh. What are you doing here? Flaida, I'm sorry. I asked, what are you doing here? Answer me! Oh, her eyes just turned pink. Nothing, I just... You just what? I told you I want to stay... Uh, I told you I want you to stay here with me, to be my friend, and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. I hate lies, hate lies, hate lies. You're coming with me, miss. To the place where the ill-behaved girls belong. Um, what? Ah, uh, that's not cool. You've been a bad friend, miss. Flayda, don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. Flayda, no! Uh-oh, Spaghetti-o. I need to get out of here. Alright, we got this girl. Flayda's, like, a horrible person. Like, beyond horrible. Oh, there's a doll. The small doll aimlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. The toys sit quietly, neatly lined up along tall shelves. A broken nutcracker's shoulder leans against the wall. His eyes have been plucked out. Alright, well, let's save. Hmm. What's going on? You're finally here. We've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. The chosen one. We need to get out of here. We've been expecting you, miss. Don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. You're the chosen one. 
Oh, that was mouse. Acquired pumpkin charm. It looks like Fleda's rocking horse, but it's broken. Hmm. Covered in grimy fur, the big teddy bear gazes into emptiness. Pitch black, thick tears slowly drip down its stained cheeks. I'm just getting pumpkin germs left and right. Hmm. That's creepy. This place isn't so bad, right? I have so many friends here. It's a really pleasant place. Oh, hey, it's that doll. We'll look there in a minute. What's up here? Mm. I need to cross over to the other side somehow. I guess we'll figure it out. Alright. What's up? Hi, Mouse. It's that doll again. Oh, the cute doll. That's the one that we followed through the mirror. Hmm. Well, there's a book here now. Where did it go? Okay, guys, it gets a story time. All right. There once was a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day, at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest, looking for berries. Mabel and Dorothy, sworn best friends, as close as two peas in a pod, both had received their blessings from God. The twins, Gilietta and Isabel, standing at the youngest, and yet said to be the strongest. Okay, hold up. Julieta and Isabella. Okay, so think back to um, whenever we found the fork and knife in the hall. And um, that had an eye on it. Eye for Isabella? I don't know who the fork and knife belonged to. I mean... I and mean, think back to the pocket mirror. Our pocket mirror has a G engraved on it, which would be Gilietta. So, does that mean that our main girl is Gilietta? Because, I mean, if you look, this little girl with brown hair, that could be Gilietta. I don't know. And then, whoever the fork and knife was, that could have been Isabella. Like, maybe they're reincarnations? I have no idea. Madeline was the town liar, who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Yeah, and that looks like Fleda, almost. And, yeah. So if you think, if each character is being represented in here, I'd go with, okay. So then maybe, like, Egliette, because Egliette was the second character we met, maybe the fork and knife was hers. So that would mean Egliette is Isabella. I don't know, I'm just grasping at air right now. Eventually, they came across the little witch, and they beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, she told them, brandishing the tool in the air. We can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts, for if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief, the thief of the stake. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the girls to partake to their magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girls' betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dare steal my most precious belonging? The witch asked the girls, to which they replied. Madeline did it. 
Dorothy always says the truth, cried Mabel. Okay, that kind of supports the theory. Because think, if Madeline is Fleda, Fleda has all of this different magic in her house. And so how would she have gotten that magic? If Madeline stole the wand, um, that would explain why she has all of the magic in her house, because she is the wand. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Gilead is a liar. Maybell stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never lie, pleaded Gilietta. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, exclaimed Isabella. So Isabella's not accusing anyone. You can trust me, Belle. I'm sure it was Gilietta who stole the wand, shouted Madeline. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until her very last breath. What a horrible story. Those are the girls who dared steal my most precious belonging. I don't know, Madeline. I don't know. Who dared steal my precious belonging? Acquired a box of matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. Should we have to set one on fire? Okay. Honestly, if I'm playing the odd one out, as much as I th want to go with a theory that Fleda is Madeline and that's why she has all of this magic in her house, I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm just, like, grasping at straws. But the odd one out would be Isabella here, because she doesn't accuse anyone of it. I don't know, let's go with Isabella. Oh hey, I was right! What the heck? I'm assuming I was right. Divine punishment has been rightly administered, I see. Too bad it wasn't me, Belle. Now I know who my real friends are. Isabella. That's what you get for being a thief. That's awful. It's locked. Oh, it's probably items. I don't know what this rusty key right here was for. Because I've had it for so long, but I never opened anything. It's so dark. You're all right, baby girl. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Scissors? Let's not take them yet. Wait, I wanna go back and save. It's locked. Well, crap. Guess we're not gonna save, guys. Scissors? Acquired a pair of rusty scissors. Maybe I could use this to get out of here. Oh, crap, that actually made me jump. Run away! Oh, okay, so you're just gonna climb in through there? I see. Hmm. It's these notes again. Ha ha ha, you took my most precious belonging from me. It's only fitting I do the same. Ha ha ha. I wonder who could have written something like this. Oh, well, we can't really go anywhere. There's hair coming out of this mirror. That's creepy. What was that? I don't want to know. Let's just get out of here. Actually, I kind of do want to know what that was. Was it in here? Mirror surface emanates an ephemeral ghostly glow. Alright. Well, I guess we'll end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, please do like, comment, and if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right now for more content like this, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!